Hello, uh, I'm going to talk about self-esteem today. You know what is self-esteem? You would have heard this word a lot of times before. Self-esteem is as simple as how you feel about yourself. You know, to put it exactly, what it means is feeling lovable and capable. Whether you feel lovable about yourself and how much do you believe that you are capable? That's what decides your self-esteem, right? So people who have low self-esteem, they don't feel that they are lovable and they don't actually believe that they are capable of doing many things. They have a lot of self-doubt. So uh, if you ask me, right, uh, how this self-esteem develops? You know, self-esteem or uh, high self-esteem, it depends upon the way you are brought up, how lovable your family made you feel and you know, how capable you felt uh, with your family. All this decides your uh, self-esteem. But many times, you know what happens, uh, whenever you go through an unpleasant experience, maybe something which you never expected or something which made you feel very bad, if that happens, there are very good possibilities that, you know, the self-esteem goes down at that time. Correct? So, it's very natural. You know, what happens, somebody would have said something or maybe you were not able to get good marks in your exams. So, because of which you start feeling little bad about it. So, that time, you know, the self-esteem will start going down. And interestingly, you know, whenever we feel bad or whenever we are stressed or whenever we go through an unpleasant experience, uh, there is one inner voice, you know, uh, which starts within ourselves. So it keeps telling you that is the time it gets actually a lot of, uh, you know, uh, it becomes very loud at that time. And then it starts saying, see, it, you are hopeless when it comes to math. See, you are not good enough. You are not doing things well. You are stupid. So those kind of things that voice from inside, it keeps telling you. So when it keeps telling you that repeatedly, your thoughts become negative. The moment your thoughts become negative, your self-esteem, you start doubting yourself. Am I really lovable? Am I really capable? But then it is not unusual, you know, that we go through these kind of uh, experiences. Every one of us go through these kind of unpleasant experiences. Every one of us also have this kind of negative chatter coming in from inside where uh, it starts questioning us like, you know, are you good enough? You are not able to do these simple things. You never get things done in the right way. Uh, you know, you get easily carried away by people. So all these kind of things it keeps telling you. Correct. But then, it happens sometimes, but if it happens repeatedly, more number of times, definitely that is going to uh, affect your self-esteem, right? So whenever you have a low self-esteem, if you ask me what is the impact it has on you, it has a lot of impact. You know, one thing is this, the moment your self-esteem is low, you start focusing only on negatives. You know, every time you do something, you are not confident, you are doubtful because every time your uh, inner voice keeps reminding you, you are not good enough. So because of that, you never take uh, any challenge head on. You always compromise. So that is one thing uh, which happens because of low self-esteem. And you know, you your uh, poor performance in, in your college, because of one reason, you know, uh, you cannot concentrate. Every time you sit with the book, your mind keeps telling you, anyway, you can't do this. You know, you had been struggling it for past so many years. So it is not possible now. So because of that, your concentration levels will go down. So self-esteem actually has an impact on so many things. And one more interesting thing that will happen, you know, you start focusing only on the negatives and you know in the process you know what you will do you will start deleting all the positive achievements of your own right so you will not even uh, you know focus on them your focus will only be negatives what i could not do right so whenever you focus more on negatives those negatives will intensify then you know it will lead to a vicious circle you know your negative thoughts will uh, put your self esteem even more down so these kind of things will happen right so that is one more thing you would start doing things which are lesser than your capability you know because you never want to take a risk because what if I lose? So before even you start something, you will have a lot of doubt in yourself. So that is one, uh, one of the negative impacts of low self-esteem, right? And apart from that, 
all these things leads to a very uh, negative performance or I would say a low performance maybe in studies maybe in your life maybe in your relationships so everywhere it will show up somewhere or the other right but then if you ask me how to improve this self-esteem is it possible definitely yes for this you don't have to do big big things you know very small things can help you to improve your self-esteem very well and shall I list down those things so uh, as simple as you know you start having a, a diary or a journal where you can actually write down whenever you go through some unpleasant situations just keep writing down you know what are all the things uh, you can do to come out of this kind of unpleasant situations so that will ease your thoughts that is one thing you should do and you know one more thing you must also start focusing on things which are in your control rather than focusing on things which are not in your control what I mean by this say for example right there are some things which you cannot control shall I tell you certain things for example you cannot control what others say about you you cannot control what others feel about you you cannot control uh, what uh, uh, idea others have you cannot control how they will behave so all those things you don't have any control the moment you start focusing on things which are not in your control oh my god why she is telling this to me why he is doing this to me so there your self-esteem will go further down because your negative self uh, talk will start coming in uh, there are certain things which you do have in control better focus on that when I say things which are in your control what are the things which you have in your control are very simple your thoughts your actions your behavior your ideas your efforts so all these things are very much in your control so the moment you start focusing on your uh, things which are in your control you will get a better performance out of you rather than uh, feeling like a victim right the people who have low self-esteem always feel they are victimized they are victims of lot of things right which is not very useful for them correct so these are few things which you can do and apart from that you must take credit for even a smallest of the achievement because you did it right take credit for small achievements feel good about it right it is not about big or small achievement it's about an achievement which you did right that's that's your effort so you must take a lot of uh, you know uh, appreciation for that so take that credit of achieving something and apart from that you you should also start working on achievable goals set some small goals which are uh, achievable very much and then start working on them and whenever you achieve that goal right reward yourself take some you know uh, some reward maybe you could go for a movie or maybe you could uh, take some time off with your friends so always when you reward yourself your self-esteem goes up correct say for example if you're not doing well in your uh, exams and then you you put a goal which is achievable for you knowing the time span definitely you will also know about you know how to set a achievable goal through our course right so once you learn how to set your goal and start working on it and whenever you achieve the smallest of this goal you take credit for it and and also reward yourself for whatever you did so these are very few small small things which will really have a greatest impact on improving your self-esteem so what is self-esteem self-esteem is feeling lovable and capable feel that